Karibu mtazamaji, serikali inapania kupunguza mzigo wa mishahara ya wafanyikazi ili kuwafikia 35% ya mapato kwenye kongamano la kitaifa kuhusu mishahara iliyowaleta pamoja maafisa wakuu wa serikali kuu na zile za kaunti. Mwenyekiti wa tume ya mishahara Lin Mingich amelalamikia gharama ya mishahara akisema kuwa inachukua zaidi ya 40% hali ambayo inasababisha miradi ya maendeleo kuathirika. The media also has a major role in ensuring that taxpayers get the best value for their taxes. This gives the media an enviable vantage point of being able to shape the narrative around the wage bill. It is this specific media role that we tap into for the conference. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the conference will strengthen our mandates increase adherence to constitutional and statutory provisions and enhance our resolve to achieve a wage bill to revenue ratio of 35% by 2028. The conveners of the conference shall continue, shall continue to respond to increasing needs and complex challenges in dealing with the public wage bill. With everyone's support, we shall work together to realize the national wage bill aspirations target of towards 35%. Let me just uh, put into context what the reduction from 43% to 35% means. As the chair has said, it means 80 million shillings. What that means is that, um, uh, I'm just looking at some of the sectors, like the road sector. Our road, our road sector is barely, barely moving at all. Projects are abandoned all over the country. People who are working on these projects in terms of jobs are jobless. The exchequer who was uh, receiving uh, VAT and other taxes from these projects, uh, it is showing in the gap in terms of our uh, revenues. You know, so, if we can, for example, guarantee that 80 billion extra will be added just to the road center, year on year, then we could restart a program that has got a very wide multiplier effect on many sectors of our economy. 